Welcome to another adventure where we get incredibly lucky. Ladies and gentlemen, it is also Larvitar Community Day, starting it off with a shiny Larvitar 809, weather boosted as well. We're gonna have a lot of good spawns here. Easily one of the most useful community days of all time. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys did during this. I already have a bunch of shiny Larvitars and I have a couple of hundos, so I don't need to grind that much today, but I'm here and 809 zero star. I got ridiculously lucky again, and you guys are gonna know exactly what I'm talking about in just a second here, but let's get some quick shiny checks on the Larvitars. Do we have any more shiny? Chinese, come on. You know what? The original Larvitar Community Day was in, what, 2018? That was actually five years ago almost, so it has been a while. And taking a quick look, I actually only have 15 Shinies all time, so I'd like to get more today, actually, now that I see that. But definitely an incredibly useful day, and I want to go ahead and show off something that happened to me very recently, because I was incredibly juiced. The Pokemon Go Gods blessed me with an incredibly rare and dope Shiny. Check this out. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this just happened. Ladies and gentlemen, the trifecta is complete. Shiny Shadow Sableye. Yes, sir, dude. That is absolutely incredible. Let me go ahead and do the AR thing. Please don't mess up anything. Check this out. And it's tiny with that crazy new animation. It's tiny. It's a shiny. It's a shadow. And it's mine, dude. No way. One of my most wanted shiny shadows of all time. The great shiny Sableye. Shout out to Pokedaxi. I know he wants one of these. Does he have one of these? I don't know. Hopefully he does. Ladies and gentlemen, shiny Shadow Sableye is mine. New size record. There's the new feature that nobody really cares about let's be real but there's the new feature uh cool we got a, an extra small one extra extra small shiny shadow sableye put it in 291 that sucks four uh nine four 49 49ers i'm down love it cool what an epic catch and like i said the trifecta is complete but dude there it is and of course it happened to be tiny that just adds to the coolness gotta love it i can go ahead and tm off frustration in a little bit how much can i max it out to right now 1463 might use it's in the go battle league who knows that is an absolute beauty man that is actually incredible i am so so happy that just happened seriously i love that but take a look i have all three of the shadow shinies that are currently in the rotation we got the shadow shiny machop back in november then we got a shadow shiny malwal in december and then uh, a few days later yeah a week later we got another shiny shadow machop which we evolved and now shiny shadow sableye i have never done that before i have never got all three of the available shadow shinies this is insane oh Oh my gosh, wow. Let's get a W in the comments. That was amazing. I am actually in awe. Shadow, shiny, Sableye, 291 CP. Let me take a seat, man. Let me take a seat. I got this yesterday, last night, I don't remember. This is easily one of the coolest Pokemon in my entire account, no question at all. I kind of wish it was in double XL, not a double XS, because it's so small on my screen, but maybe one day we can make it bigger, I don't know. That is absolutely epic, and I wish I can get more, and I also wish you can mega evolve a Shadow Pokemon, because this would be insane. But that is lovely, man. Unfortunately, the IVs on it are absolute trash. Trash, but we don't care about the IVs when it comes to Shadow Shinies. That is a massive W. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys got any Shadow Shinies recently or in general. Now that we have all three of the Shadow Shinies in rotation, I don't know if I'm gonna keep going for them. I might go for another Machop just to maybe get the full family, but like I have one Mawile, I have one Sableye. They don't have like a family or anything, so I might just only go for Machop now. But absolutely incredible luck, dude. You cannot coach that. You just cannot. Larvitar, not shiny. And as usual, we have resource to work on, so let's go ahead and claim all that good stuff today. I think I mentioned this earlier, but I do have a 100% IV Larvitar that we're going to be 50 maxing in this adventure that I'm very excited about. This will be my third 100% IV level 50 Tyranitar and that'll be so so epic. I can't wait till we get Mega Tyranitar in Pokemon Go. That is going to be game breaking. Hopefully you guys grind it out today because Larvitar is going to be a very useful Pokemon no matter what level you ever will be. It's an iconic Pokemon. It's a strong Pokemon. It's dynamic and it's got a Mega. You gotta love it. What is there not to love? Larvitar. And don't forget this Lunar event is still going on so I'm going to be meeting up with the squad in a little bit and doing some special trades. Hopefully we can get lucky first encounter on the first stage sorry last encounter on the first stage not shiny and for stage two catch 15 transfer 10 evolve three easy money and there it is another shiny lavatar 339 cp only our second one of the day not the greatest odds so far but it's all about how you finish although we're really just here for those xl candies two star 14 14 four on that can we get a back-to-back -back shiny no sir we have seven lunar seven kilometer eggs going down right now ladies and gentlemen there could be some shinies in here that i need like the darabaka's 
like the Ryolu. Some rare stuff for sure. Can we please, can we please get some fire? Come on, come on, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give and the third egg is a Galarian Darmok. Now that's not a shiny, but it could be a good one, who knows? Fourth egg is a Scraggy, of course. Gonna get a lot of those. Fourth egg is the Chingling, yikes. Come on, give me another, give me something. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Ryolu is here in the eggs, need that shiny. And our next egg, another Scraggy. This is gonna be rough, isn't it? That's it for the eggs. It doesn't look like we have any good IV Pokemon in there. No shinies, GG's. And a restocked on the eggs. Let's go ahead and incubate all of this good stuff right now. Come on, come on, come on, man. I gotta take advantage. I'm sad because this is such a short event and I have to like rush everything and we're gonna have to incubate all this. Hopefully we can hatch it all today. But also we can move on with stage two of the research during the Larvitar community day. Kubitar. That's easy XL candies for sure. And to finish it all off, give me all that good stuff right there. Please give me something good. And then after this, we can get to some special trading. Larvitar, not good. I feel like I should have this memorized by now because we've done like, I don't know, 60 community days or whatever. Uh, what is stage three? Make three great curveball throws, evolve one, transfer 10. All right, so maybe, should we do a shiny evolution right now? Let's do a shiny evolution right now and then the trades. Let's actually evolve this 809 that we got earlier today. That's a zero star, but it's a pretty fat CP shiny Larvitar. It's a weather boosted community day too, so we're gonna have some good luck with that. There is the very, very nice shiny Pupitar, but now we are trying to get to that shiny Tyranitar that's gonna be 3149. Easy money, not even powered up one time, so that's nice. And there it is, shiny Tyranitar. Very, very epic. Wish it had a crazier shiny, but that's still pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. It's 3149. Very, very nice. That's gonna be traded for sure. I'm not gonna really use it. And the rest of this research is easy, but let's go ahead and do some special trades. We got some good ones lined up. Special trade going down. We're trading away shiny Blaziken for shiny Blaziken. A very, very useful Pokemon. A very cool shiny, in my opinion, even though it's not that different. Come on, man. We got lucky the other day. Can we get lucky again today? Speaking of the luck master, Gavin has seen three legendary birds in the last two days. If you guys haven't seen the last couple of videos, go check them out. Here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Gavin got a Blaziken lucky 98%. Let's go. Nice. Gavin's luck is off the chain, dude. Off the chain. 1367. Blaziken. Oh, 93%. 12, 15, 15. That's pretty amazing. I will take that, dude. Wow. All right, let's do another trade. Let's see what happens. Trade number two going down right now. Shiny Chandelure for Shiny Chandelure. Another fire evolution slash trade. No pun intended. Yep, no pun intended. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Three, two, one. Not going to be shiny. We can't do it again. Chandelure is a two-star not great. And my Chandelure... 15 attack, 3 star, 15, 14, 10. Could have been worse. That's pretty good. I will take that. Let's go. So we did get at least one shiny or one lucky. That was awesome. And there we go. Another shiny Larvitar 509 CP. Is that number 3 on the day, I think? I will take it. I will take it. And then don't forget, we do have a 30-minute daily incense today. 2 star right there. Not bad. We do have a 30-minute daily incense today. And I really want to pop it. But do I want 30 minutes of Larvitar spawns? Or should I wait till afterwards and see if I can get 30 minutes of something else? I don't know. I don't know if I'll have time to play later on. I mean, I could still technically get a bird during the incense during community day, but I know it would just be a lot of Larvitar spawn, so I'll have to figure it out. Come on. No. And stage three is now finished. Give me 50 Larvitar candies, a lucky egg, some great balls, and the rest of this is all completed. Yes, sir. We got her done. Yes, yes, yes. Give me all that. Come on. Professor Willow and I talk like every gosh darn day, bro. We get it. We get it. I know what you're going to say. Larvitar is shiny from the research. Now, that is something you love to see. Not going to be a good one, but it's shiny. That's nice. It's guaranteed to be like at least like a two star or something like that. Oh, critical. Down that goes right there. 423 is a two star. 12, 10, 14. So not amazing, but it's all good. And now we complete it all. Give me 3,000 dust, some rare candies, and a Tyranitar encounter that can't be shiny eligible because the Mega is not out. So let's go ahead and grab this 1594, I think that was. Let's go ahead and get all this candy. 11 candies and three XLs. Oh my gosh. 11, 12, 11. Thanks, man. Thanks. One of the worst ones possible. I got to double check here. How many XL candies do I need on this hundo that I have right here? We need 163 and we're already at 97. Plus if I transfer a bunch of convert, we probably are actually almost there. So nice. Let's keep on moving. That is our ultimate goal of the day. And just a few minutes later, we're heating up another shiny Larvitar 723 CP and it's still weather boosted. So let's keep it moving. Down that goes right there. 723. Two star. Not bad. Let's go. And we got ourselves another shiny 802 CP weather boosted shiny Larvitar. Okay. That's like three and like five minutes so we've been doing really well here we go 802 oh my gosh three star 11 14 15 that could have been something that could have been something imagine getting a shundo larvitar i think somebody tweeted me a shundo larvitar today which is absolutely crazy that would be 
be a uh, game changing for sure. Like, <laughs> how much better does it get? And another Shiny Larvitar weather boost. We're getting it done, dude. I haven't even popped my incense yet. Still debating on if I want to do that or not. One star Shiny Larvitar. I think we're closing in on 10 on the day ish. And here's another Shiny Larvitar. And I feel like we are just about there in terms of 50 max in my Tyranitar. If I'm not there, I got to be close. 153. So we're technically 10 XL candies off. But if I transfer a bunch of stuff, I could probably get it right now. And I guess I could just convert my candies. And I want to 50 max it. I want to double move it. Of course, you know what it is. I also believe it already has Smackdown on it too. So luckily, I don't have to Elite Charge TM it. I got my Mega Aerodactyl in the sky getting me those extra XLs. Uh, there it is, 4106. It does have Smackdown already. We can just go ahead and convert candies. I'm not really tripping about that. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, five candies. Bada bing, bada boom. And we can go all the way to 4335, ladies and gentlemen. Another 50 max Pokemon. I don't do this often at all. Probably like once every couple months or something like that. I don't even know. 50 max Tyranitar in Pokemon Go. I would say the most useful Pokemon in this game. Like I use it every single day in so many different instances. There it is, 50 max. Let me go ahead and give it the tag, of course, to make it official. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's double move it because why not? Hopefully it gets crunch and not fire blast. They got fire blast. And of course there's a massive truck right here just backing up, which makes this clip so gosh darn loud, but let's just go ahead and keep on moving. We got crunch. There it is, 100% IV, maxed out, double move, Tyranitar. That was our big goal of the day. We got it done. And taking a look at my top Pokemon, they are all right there at 4335 in like the top uh, top 15. So that is pretty amazing. I'm going to keep getting XL candies and keep going for shinies though because this Pokemon is always going to be useful. Might as well get a bunch. And I almost forgot to mention this. Check out what I got last night. Just a regular home spawn. Like this was a regular home spawn. I saw this spawn and I was like, ah, I guess I'll catch it. I don't really see many of them. 100% IV Squirtle house spawn. How awesome is that? Just wasn't really expecting it. Nine times out of 10, I would just not catch it and just maybe even shiny check it but i actually felt like catching it and it was a hundo squirtle 70 cp you love to see that man those random hundos like that are really really nice and i was on like, quite a bit of a hundo drought these last couple months and then we got the zekrom last week we got the purloin and now we have the squirtle so that is absolutely epic you love to see it and that's my third ever hundo in the squirtle family we have two other blastoise from 2018 and 2017 funny enough this blastoise is actually my second ever ever hundo in my account i think let me go ahead and fact check myself it is the third ever hundo in my account excuse me got it in 2017 pretty awesome man pretty awesome well we got a good amount of shinies live shiny right there love to see that we got a good amount of shinies so far we 50 max we've done our trades and all that i think i'm gonna pop my incense after community day and if anything crazy happens i'll let you guys know of course but yeah honestly my objective has been complete we're doing really really well i feel like we're just having a good old day the community's out and about you love to see it pokemon go is in such a good spot i think we have double digit shinies by now so let's go and see how many we end up with and that'll do it for community day classic we got 12 shinies on the day honestly that's pretty solid i mean i was here for the xl candies and we got a bunch of that as well a lot of good iv larvitar luckily we had a weather boosted one like as you guys saw we just got a three star right there so some pretty good ivs throughout the day a lot of shinies no hundos but that's all good i'm not gonna lie man that was pretty successful we got everything we needed and we got it done let me know in the comments down below hopefully you guys grinded this day out because it was definitely worth the grind the trade were dope. I have yet to pop my incense today. I should probably go do that, but if anything happens, you guys will see it in the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for Community Day Classic. That was awesome. Next Community Day is Noibat. Let's go.